and all that. Part of my lifestyle change is taking care of me, consciously taking care of me, taking care of everything that has to do with me and making this a lifestyle choice that is continuous. One thing I can tell you is in the last three weeks since making this decision, I have cut down on the size of food, the portion of food. Even though I'm not a big eater, I eat big for my size, for the way I am. And my big may be very small for some people, but it was big for me. Um, I have reduced that completely. I've reduced that. I have been, you know, consistent on my walking. One of my commitments is not to just do a 30 day walking challenge and, you know, just stop, but to make it a lifestyle choice, which means that lifestyle choice, which means that every day I have to step out of the house or do some activity you know i have a loud a large terrace so i could walk around to or through the terrace i must do some activity you know to um, add to my fitness um, basically i have a health condition which i'll talk in a later video as you get to know me i can't do so much strenuous exercises but i can try you know and um, i can say that I'm doing well so far. I'm doing well. You know, I'm doing well. I am committed. And I think that in the last three weeks, I have been focused. You know, I've, I've tried a few things which I'll be sharing. I've made some home DIY uh, oils for my hair, which I'm very proud. In three weeks of actually taking care of my hair, taking care of my nutrition. Um, checking what I eat and all that, um, I feel light, you know, I feel light. I don't have a scale, so I must mention I do not have a scale. I, so what I'm doing actually is measuring myself, measuring my waistline, I wish, measuring my tummy, um, measuring my laps to just see if, you know, there are any inches and reductions. There has been some reductions and I'm happy about it. It just means that if I carry on doing what I'm doing, then there is hope <laughs> there is hope that my belly fat will go um there is hope that i'll be stronger you know my heart health will be better there is hope um this is what i am doing here um, i'm i am looking forward to giving you a video every week to just share or maybe more than a video every week um just put a video as when i want to talk with you there is no hype or anything this is plain me sharing my journey with you and um, uh, if you read my bio i am a business coach i've always worked with women and helped them to grow their businesses that's what i am good at if you talk about business i'm spot on there that's what i'm good at uh, when it comes to me i'm a bit careless so i'm the eat on the go you know um you know just eat when i'm hungry and just throw anything in my mouth I'm not the person who takes her time to like cook her food and check. i'm not that kind of person i do love people like that and i like to eat their food <laughs> i like to eat their food so if i have friends who can cook i love to eat their food because i know they put in a lot of effort so that's the kind of person i am so it's changing it's changing and now if i have to throw anything to my mouth it is a conscious throwing in and I have surprised myself in the last three weeks. I have surprised myself. I love jelly babies. I do love jelly babies, soft jelly sweets, um, and especially tang plastic. I love tang plastic also, you know, the stingy one. I could just sit and eat up a whole pack. You know, um, there was a time a friend of mine, not sure why she did this, but she came to visit me for the first time. She brought me 10 packets of jelly babies. And I said, why have you done this to me? She said, you can, you're not supposed to eat everything at all. I said, you do not know the cravings for this thing. I am going to finish 10 packets, not, not mini packs, big size packs, the big size pack, 10. And I said, what were you thinking about? Why did you send me you know, all the gifts you should give me? 10 packets, this was a while ago, I think. <laughs> Before you could say, hey, hello, how are you? I have finished it. I don't know how I finished it, but it was gone. Like every day it just went down and I went to where I have it checked. I was like, I cannot believe I finished 10 packets of jelly babies. How did I do that? I could not believe I did that. 
but I did. If you're my kind of person who just nibbles, who just throws things in her mouth rather than eating proper food. And you're also the kind of person that everyone thought would never gain weight because you're skinny, you're petite, and you just chuck things in your mouth, but you don't gain weight. And then all of a sudden, you just find out that you are gaining weight. And you're gaining the kind of weight that isn't going, you know? And you're gaining the kind of weight in the wrong places. Um, also, age is a determining factor for this kind of things. I feel very heavy, I feel sluggish, and I'm not as fast as I, you know, I used to be. And I just, I'm always tired. I'm always tired. The way to fix it is what I'm doing now, which is consciously changing my lifestyle, consciously changing my lifestyle. But without keeping this video too long, which I think is already too long. And if you've been watching me, thank you for watching me for, um, for this long, but without keeping it too long. Um, this is me and this is what I'll be doing. Um, Will I be doing business videos? Yes, I would be because it's my passion and I have lots of clients who need my help, but it won't be on this channel. It will be on my other personal channel. I'll be doing um, business time with Placida. So where I talk about business, I answer your questions about business. Here will just be about lifestyle choices, lifestyle change, things I'm trying, suggestions also, because when you do these videos, there are people who know better than you and there are people who have been where you've been and there are people who could see things about you that you're not even seeing about yourself and could say could you try this could you try that plus then i noticed that this you know and suggest um things that you could do to help you on your journey um that's where i am now that's where i'm at i'm excited to be doing this and i'm looking forward to my first subscriber i don't know who you're gonna be I'm looking forward to my first subscriber to see who subscribes and how many people um, are interested in what I'm saying. But I think by subscribing, you're encouraging me and you're supporting me and you're telling me, you know, you're interested to see how I go.